Hello everyone and welcome back. So the last couple of days, uh, we've been doing uh, HTML and CSS, right? And right now we're going to start learning JavaScript, the programming language of the web. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jerome and welcome to the Code Mutation uh, channel. And uh, in order for you to be able to utilize this JavaScript course, you should have at least a basic knowledge in HTML and CSS. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So let me just switch over here to my other screen. And all of our projects, we are going to place this in a single folder right here in our desktop. So I'm right clicking on it, selecting a new and then folder. And we, we can name this whatever we want, of course, but I'm going to name that projects. And in VS Code, let me maximize this one, uh, select open folder, click on desktop and select this folder that we just created earlier. And we, have, we are going to create another one and we are going to name this variables underscore data types because this is going to be our topic today. So select that the folder and click this button. And we are going to create our index.html file over here as well as our styles.css and the JavaScript file, right? So if this is your first time creating a JavaScript file, you can name this whatever you want. I will just name this a script and the file extension is .js. So let me go ahead and type that and there you have it. So index.html, let's generate our template. Let's go ahead and link our styles that CSS like so. And the uh, script or the JavaScript file can be added or linked into our HTML file in the same manner like what we did with CSS. But instead of link and instead of putting it right here at the top, we have to put it right here before the closing body tag. So the tag is going to be script. Press tab on the keyboard to auto complete. And we need this attribute or attribute called SRC equal sign. And now we're going to type the file name of our JavaScript file that we have created over here, right? And there you have it. So I'm going to uh, press save, right click here and open with live server. And let me just go ahead and arrange my screen and place it like that. So right now we don't see anything here. And uh, we are going to use Chrome uh, to preview our project. So we can head over here and go to preferences and then settings. And uh, here in the users, or actually here in the uh, uh, search settings, we can type here a browser, all right? And as you can see, Live server settings, custom browser. Uh, let's just go ahead and click this drop down button and switch that to Chrome. And right now, okay, I'm just double checking to make sure that uh, there are other settings that we need. And I think we're good, right? So just make sure that this one is selected and now we can close this. So right click this again and open with live server and it will open up in Chrome like so. And let me just place this at the side. And I'm, I have here like a list of the topics that we're going to cover in this video. So the first one is variable. So variable is basically just like a container, right? It can hold a value. It can be a number, it can be a string or a Boolean value like here, uh, because uh, the thing that, that I'm talking about, a string is a text, right? So we have different types of data or information that we can store in a variable uh, in programming. Uh, so let me show you what I mean here. So for example, in uh, HTML, uh, this is the preview of, of our project. If I'm going to type here, John Doe, okay, it will appear here on the browser, right? Uh, you already know that. And now that we have started coding, I'm going to remove my camera so, you, so we can focus the information on the screen. So again, right now we are here on John Doe, right? And uh, this text right over here appears on the browser. So in JavaScript, we can also write this one. Uh, let me go ahead and delete that right now. We don't have it here. So in, in JavaScript, we can uh, do this. Uh, right now, you may not be able to make sense of this, but just follow along with me. So we can say document, 
dot to right, open and close parentheses, and then quotes or double quotes, uh, single, a single quote will work as well. I'm going to use double quotes, okay? Uh, and I'm going to type here Jando. If we save this, it will also write on the browser Jando. So this is the uh, JavaScript style of writing this text. Uh, unlike with uh, uh, HTML, uh, let me go ahead and disable that by highlighting and then pressing Control forward slash on the keyboard. And in index.html, we can just go ahead and type that uh, uh, name, right? So let me delete that one, go back to uh, uh, script.js and activate this code. And in JavaScript, by the way, uh, it's not required, but uh, it's your personal preference. Uh, in my case, I still use a, uh, a semicolon here. So the semicolon is not really required in JavaScript, but my personal preference is to add here a colon or a semicolon. So anyway, uh, we are going to be talking about variable, right? So I'm going to click here and press enter on the keyboard and I'm going to create a variable. So I'll, I'll type the keyword var and for example, the variable that I'm going to create is called first name and I'm going to set the value of this first name to something like, for example, James, right? Now that we have that variable, we can go ahead and delete this one. And instead of saying James over here, we can just go ahead and place a first name here and the, and the data that is being contained here in this variable will display on the screen. It will be written, okay, right. So basically this code means I'm targeting the document right over here. And there is a built-in write function that is already in JavaScript and what it, what it is that I'm going to write, the first name variable, okay? So this is the old way of declaring a variable in JavaScript. Although it's still working, it is now recommended to use let, all right? So let's create another one. In fact, we can just go ahead and copy that and paste it right over here. And I'm going to create a variable called last name. And the last name may be Smith, right? So right now, this, Data is still in the variable. It is still in the memory uh, in, uh, in the computer. And, uh, but we are not doing anything about it yet. So one of the uses of the variable is to store a data that we can use later on in our code, just like what we did on this first name variable. So let's go ahead and use that last name variable over here. Uh, we can just go ahead and copy this and place here the name uh, last name or the name of the variable. Now we have James Smith, okay? So right now you will notice we don't have a space here. Uh, we can actually write an HTML tag right here. For example, you are going to write a break tag, right? You can place here double quotes and place an HTML here. Remember, look at this. This is an HTML tag called break. If we are going to use that, it will go, it will go ahead and uh, force this last name into the next line. Let's create another variable. And this one is going to be age, let's say 37. Okay, let's save that. And we are going to write that as well. We are going to write first a break tag and copy this. And we are going to write the age. So there you have it, 37. So if we are going to go back to in our list here for the most commonly used data types in JavaScript for beginners, not only for beginners, but actually even in real world projects, we are always dealing with strings. So strings are text, right? Characters, your name, last name, all right? Uh, addresses, something like that. And the number are the numerical value, the number that we can use in calculations. So for example, right here in this age, uh, this one, uh, we don't use double quotes for number type of data, okay? So we already have covered string. That is the first name and the last name. Now we are talking about the number type of data, okay? It's a data type. So for that one, right now it's 37. We can actually use the addition operator over here. For example, we're going to add three and save our work, 
this one is going to be 40 as you can see right there right uh, so the next one is going to be let me see the other one a boolean a boolean value only has two possibility so for example is logged in uh, is the user logged in okay and we set that to true for now or, or maybe false so boolean value can only be true or false like a binary concept okay so uh it is normally being used in a logged in system right so for example if the uh, logged in variable is equals to false then uh, deny the user to be able to see some information right but if the is logged in is equals to true the user is currently logged in then allow the user to see some information uh, on a particular page i hope that makes sense so that's boolean value and we also have undefined all right so before we proceed with the uh, uh with this topic right here undefined let me show you one tool that we use as a developer so right here make sure that you are hold on let me just go ahead and head over to our index.html document and i'm going to type here variables and uh, data types so we can see it right here in this uh, title bar right so over here while we are on this project make sure that you are you are in this project okay uh, press f12 on the keyboard and you already know this uh, by default it is actually on the elements uh, showing you the html code and the css code over here uh, under the styles tab for javascript we see it right here on the console so right now in our project here in our javascript file we have an existing variables right so if we're going to type for example the variable first name here in this console we press enter as you can see we are able to uncover what is inside of that variable right what's inside is james it is a text it is a string data type okay so same thing that we can do with the last name we have smith if we type age here that is 40 so this console right here is available in most browsers even safari right because the browser is actually running on javascript and in this console window we can actually do some calculations over here for example 2 plus 2 and we get 4 right and we can also have something like first name oops hold on so first name which make sure we type everything then space and then plus okay and then we and then we just type here like uh, uh quotes here and then some space here at the bottom and then plus and we can type last name remember that these are variables in our project now we go ahead and press enter it will display james smith okay in fact, we can do the same thing over here in this document that write. So we can go ahead and delete all of this. So just like what we did here in our console window, we can go ahead and type here plus and then double quotes and then space bar to give space and then plus and we can type your last name. And if we are going to do plus again and then space plus and then age. If we save this, head back to our project, now we have those information uh, arranged next to each other, James Smith and then 40. If you, you can actually add an information here, for example, for the age, you can have here another plus, okay, and you can type here age and then plus over here. If we save this, now we have James Smith, age and then 40. Uh, if you want you can have here like a br tag an html tag if we save this now we have james smith at the top and then age 40 here at the bottom so going back to our last data type over here called undefined right anyway let me just uh, go ahead and show you first the uh, uh the s login variable so make sure that you are in this project if we are going to type here and in the console is logged in it will show up that the uh, variable this variable contains the false value if it is true uh, we save our project type again the variable here is logged in 
And that is true right over there. Let me zoom in for you to be able to see clearly. So for the undefined, it is when we define a variable, for example, x, but we did not assign some text. We did not assign a number. We did not assign a Boolean value. We just go ahead and type a semicolon here to end the statement. Okay, this is one statement, another statement. So that is why I still personally prefer to use semicolon here at the end uh, because that is the one that I'm used to because I'm also using another programming language that requires this one. And uh, anyway, going back to our topic, undefined. So we can define a variable in JavaScript, but without assigning a value. So if we head back over to our console uh, window, uh, then we type the x variable here, it says undefined. So for example, you can have maybe a counter. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and check the counter. Right now it says undefined. Right now, uh, it's just saying undefined because JavaScript do not know uh, if it is a number or a string. So if it contains a string, JavaScript would know that it is a string. So in fact, there's like, uh, just like the write function, there is another JavaScript function called type of, okay? So it's already built in that we can use to uh, work with our project uh, to troubleshoot, to debug, okay? Because normally the console window is being used to analyze, debug, or troubleshoot any problem with our code to check the current value of the variable and things like that. And you will learn more about that as we go along with this course. So, for example, the first name, we can type here type of, okay? And then open parenthesis, and then we type here first name, and then close parenthesis, we press enter. As you can see, it says the type of this data is a string. And we can do the same thing with the age. By the way, you can click here and then press the arrow up key on the keyboard to cycle back to the previous code that you have written. And we can rename this to age. If we press enter, it says the type of this variable is a number. And if we are going to do, to do that with the s logged in variable, okay, we type that, it says Boolean value. Uh, again, Boolean value can either be true or false. Now we do that with the uh, uh, x, and of course, it's going to say undefined. All right, so there you have it. We have covered variable. Variable is basically just a container. It can contain a text or a string. It can contain a number for calculation. And uh, a Boolean is a variable that can contain only true or false. And we also have undefined. All right, so I hope this has been informative for you guys and uh, see you in the next one. Peace.